We, humans, are doing exactly what we have been trained to do, and that is to panic. Fear is the biggest controller of mankind. Be strong-willed and don't buy into the 1%'s propaganda. The real crisis is yet to come if we don't fight back. And that's an economic crisis. The financial impact of this is enough to make us sick with worry. This is nothing but a forged world economic crisis, disguised as a pandemic. They are pushing our world towards a global political and economic tyranny. David Icke warns that this pandemic hysteria will be used to create a transformed, centrally controlled, AI-controlled, new world economic system. A system which will not have mom and pop businesses anymore. This virus has almost no effect on the health of the overwhelming vast majority, which has immune systems that just basically slap it aside. It is just this small group of elderly people who have weakened immune systems, and those who have other health conditions and therefore weakened immune systems. They're the ones in danger, and we should focus on helping them. And if necessary, isolate them, and focus our resources on them. The rest of the population, 80% will have very mild to no symptoms. Are we going to destroy the world economic system by stopping them from going to work? That's crazy. Focus on those who are in danger. Cocoon them if necessary, with fairness and compassion. The rest of the population will get on with this virus just as fine. Now, why are we locking the rest of the population away and bringing down the world economic system? And destroying people's businesses, livelihoods ability to pay the rent? Why are we doing that, and not just focusing totally on those who could have a serious problem because of their immune system deficiencies? What they really want is to demolish the world economic system so that they can replace it. Problem, reaction, solution. Divide and conquer, keep us all separated from each other and bring in the army so they can go door to door, intimidating everyone to vaccinate with their poisons and microchipping us. It is not hard to realize that somebody's dodgy agenda is being unleashed in our world, and it's not designed to improve our health, wealth, or happiness. This is Agenda 2030, as per the UN document. The Matrix is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. David Icke is a British writer and speaker. He is the author of 21 books. For 30 years, he has been warning that the world is controlled by a globalist cult. This cult wants to create a beyond Orwellian global state, in which a tiny few people dictate to everyone else. David Icke calls it, the Hunger Games Society. You can picture the structure very clearly. Picture a pyramid, at the top of the pyramid, you've got a tiny few enormously wealthy people that actually are connected to this cult. We now have a name for them, we call them the 1%. At the bottom of this pyramid in the Hunger Games society is basically the rest of humanity that is dependent upon the 1%. And in between the two is a vicious, merciless police military state to impose the will of the 1% on the population and to prevent the population from challenging the 1%. This Hunger Games society is a technocracy, a society that is controlled by bureaucrats, experts, scientists, engineers and technocrats. The ability of that situation to happen is through smart technology and AI. A technocratic AI-controlled tyranny. Everything will be connected to AI, this is what the Internet of Things is all about. A global smart grid, easily controlled and manipulated from the top of the pyramid. And driving the perceptions of humanity. They also want a single global digital currency and a completely cashless society. The way they want to achieve this system of control is through problem, reaction, solution. Using fear as the currency of control. They create the problems and wait until either there is a demand from the public or at least acceptance that something ought to be done. Know the outcome, and you'll see the journey. If you don't know where this world is being taken by this cult, then everything seems random. According to David Icke, the corona hysteria, together with the climate change and the economic collapse, all fit in the problem, reaction, solution, paradigm. What is unfolding today was easily predictable. In fact, the 1% organizations, six weeks before this virus came to light in China, were playing out scenarios and simulations based on exactly the scenario that's unfolding now. We have to take whatever the authority tells us with a pinch of salt until proven otherwise. We should question every figure coming out of mainstream authority, says David Icke.
they are planning an enormous economic collapse. One that will make 2008 look like a Sunday school tea party. This corona hysteria gives them the excuse to do what they are doing. The outcome will be the dismantlement of the world economic system. The new world economic order will have to small or medium businesses, just gigantic corporations that produce and control everything. Amazon is a classic example of this system. What is this coronavirus hysteria is creating is a situation unfolding by the hour worldwide that is destroying small business, family business, even medium-sized business, some even really big businesses. That is the big legacy of what is happening. What we see now every day is this Hunger Games society coming closer and closer and closer because of what's being done in the name of protecting the people. The world will be completely transformed and economically demolished by taking action now that will have phenomenal knock-on consequences. The way the whole economic system is being shut down is suicide. What happens when it reaches a point where in its present state, it cannot continue, it cannot survive? A whole new economic system comes in, which is the one this cult wants. They want a cashless society, a digital cashless society. One world currency, which has phenomenal implications for freedom. They want rid of cash with the excuse that you can pass viruses onto it. If you only believe the official version of everything is the official solution for the problem you believe in is going to take us further and further down the road to a society that would make George Orwell bloody wince. Never has a truer word been spoken, not one thing he has said is wrong. David Icke is absolutely spot on. Millions of more people will die from the shutdown than from the virus itself. They have been planning this for a long time. Problem. Reaction. Solution. What just happened was a black swan event that will now be used by all governments to usher in the fourth industrial revolution and enslave mankind further. This pandemic was the catalyst. An attempt to completely re-engineer the way we function as a species and as a society. Brave new W world is coming. In other words, this will now be used to transform into an AI-based future on steroids. Social distancing is one such tool to dehumanize people and welcome their new oppression by AI and big government. They will use this to destroy all vestiges of democracy, with the help of unwitting serfs, and complete the transition into global tyranny. They will also use this to lay off industries and jobs that are deemed obsolete and not essential. Just like in the wake of 9-11, it permanently transformed the world. The long march towards global totalitarian government is the wet dream of the ruling class. Social distancing is the best way to prevent people from unifying. Very dark times ahead. I see no rational reason to enforce such insane policies like being strictly apart when the virus does not warrant such drastic measures. It therefore only makes sense to me that they are using this to usher in a new society. The people never give up their liberties except under some delusion," wrote Edmund Burke 1729-1797. Freedom does not mean disease. I don't buy the narrative that this is all about fighting a virus, and therefore, we need to give up our freedoms of movement and assembly. Yes, there are some legitimate concerns, mostly exaggerated, prompting draconian measures. I also believe the threat of the virus is being used as a power grab. A permanent ever-expanding power grab over the American people. Just as the fear of climate change was and is an excuse by elites in and out of government to try and control us. The people behind this virus threat aren't going to willingly give you your freedoms back. The power that be want total control. Just remember the only thing they can't control at this moment is your mind. Unless you allow them to. I know what's happening is frightening and can make you feel anxious and scared, but try your best to stay positive. Don't let them take your light. In the end, they will lay their freedom at our feet and say to us, make us your slaves, but feed us. Fyodor Dostoevsky once wrote. This pandemic is just a small part of a very big and dirty plan. Even someone with the smallest amount of reflective and questioning ability will see that this whole thing just doesn't add up. Besides, the same untrustworthy groups such as World Health Organization, and mainstream media, who many people couldn't trust as long as a few months ago, are now the places people are turning to, and believing every single of their word without thinking. Ask yourself this. Would you trust a government that covers up child abuse for decades and decades? Do you really think our governments care about the well-being of us the population? The same governments that are poisoning our water, food, and air. 
The sad truth is that probably over 90% of people have and are programmed to listen to the one percenters and will unfortunately not see the truth of what's really going on. This virus is overhyped. A perfect cover for the pre-planned and engineered economic collapse. No crowds with torches and pitchforks storming the banks as they should. Hell, the police will kill more Americans this year than the virus will. Moral of the story. Shoot your television. And take your money out of the banks before the bail-ins or revaluation. The globalist cult is going to take care of the people in the same way that the Morlocks took care of the Eli in H.G. Wells, the time machine. Everything that the Eli required, food, clothing, shelter, medicine, and entertainment was provided for them by their caring herdsmen. And when it was time for dinner, a horn would sound calling the Eli to the kitchen. Bon appétit Morlocks. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a small donation. Thank you.